Hi, I'm Heather from House to Home and today I'm going to turn this copper pipe into a candelabra for these candles. Welcome to Pin It or Bin It, the show where we trawl Pinterest to find craft projects that look easy, but are they really? We're going to test them out. For this copper pipe candelabra, you'll need 22mm copper pipe, a 22mm pipe cutter, a pencil, a ruler, four equal tees, four elbows, four couplers and four candles. First, I'm going to measure um, four pieces of 25 centimetres of this pipe. So I'm just going to use my ruler and a pencil. Let's start at 25. Move that along. There's number two. And then there's the last one. Okay. So this is a nifty thing called a pipe cutter, which if I can remember how to use it, you just slide it on lining the blade up with your pencil mark. And then it's got an arrow on it, which tells you which way to twist. So you just twist it round, keep twisting. And then as if by magic, Ta-da! Right, and the next one. And now I need four shorter pieces. So I'm going to do these 15 centimetres. So let's mark there. Last one. There we go. Four short pieces. And then I need to get these ones, which are called elbows. Okay. So that is the base. And these ones are T pieces for obvious reasons. So then you pop one of those on each of those ends and then you need to keep doing that until you've got four of these. And I've just realised that I haven't cut enough pieces of pipe. Right, well we'll do one more and then I'll have to cut another two pieces. Pop that on. And then let's grab our pipe, measure two more. run out of pipe. So we're going to have to wing it a bit on the design of this one. Let's pop a T piece on here. Right, and then, see this really taxes my mind for some reason. I think that goes on there, like that. Then I take a long piece, pop that there. Some are really loose and some are really tight. And then this piece on the end, and then into the base. It's massive. I think I might have cut the pieces too long, which is why I've run out of pipe. Okay, so uh, that one goes there, and so let's play around a little bit here. Let's just put that there. Okay, that's not happening. Let's have a think. All right, what I'm going to do is take that out from there. I'm going to take another T piece. Am I? Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> this, is, this is not easy. And then that can go on there. And then that goes between them. Oh, I've done it. You see, you can't trust me with any project that involves maths. So we'll have slightly wonky. Let's move that one from there and pop it there and make a feature of the wonkiness. Okay, not bad. We're gonna pop that on there to finish off that end. Take this one and pop it on that end. It's not quite how it was supposed to be, but that's because I'm apparently really bad at maths. Um, anyway, we can try and put the candles in. And some people like them sort of, you know, asymmetric, don't they? On there. I think this is maybe a little bit 
big for a candelabra in the middle of your table, like you can't really see your friends on the other side. Uh, might have to declare this one a binet, I think. <laughs>